Hello, Hattrickers. Welcome to episode 59 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino within Sacalva Hale. It's been a while since the last update, and the league season is just around the corner. We haven't been following weekly during the offseason, so let's just get an overview to start out with. So as we look at the sheet, we'll see that Sonati has reached the age of 19 years and 42 days. He's now at brilliant defending and at outstanding playmaking. And his GMS of 21-24 shows that he's going in the right direction, surely. Francioni and Camellini are both at formidable defending and formidable playmaking at just over 2k SGMS. That will change when we start training playmaking because they will have sub levels in here because we swapped according to Sonati's skills. In the last training update, we only had one pop, and that was Lemetti, a Finnish goalkeeper. He popped to inadequate defending this Friday. Looking at the profit players, we have all the transfer compares out here, and it has reached a sum of 20 million euros. We did swap out Marassi. He was a, a wing, and instead we brought in Permisil Kotatko, a playmaker instead of Marassi, and he is supernatural playmaking. And we're looking to add a little more midfield rating during the seasons. If you are a league opponent, you'll be aware of this now. But um, it's looking all right. We have accumulated approximately 20 million euros in the transfer compare department of the profit players here. You can also see we have uh, two goalkeepers, Glenn Demanet and Lemetti. They are the main figures at the moment. So that's it for training. Let's move over to a look at the training plan in general. So for the coming season, we will be training defense for 12 weeks and then we will move on to playmaking for the final four weeks of the season. When we look at the end of the defense stint, we will have Sonati at Magnificent, we will have Frangioni at Brilliant and we'll have Camellini at Brilliant Defending as well. The end of the, the next training stint in playmaking will leave Sonati at a doubled Magnificent and it will see Frangioni at Magnificent playmaking as well. Camellini will reach Brilliant playmaking at the time we swap back to defending during the next season. Anyway, it's looking quite positive and a double Magnificent 21-year-old player in two quite heavy main skills defending and playmaking surely will be nice to have. I'm looking forward to see what we can do semi-competitively in a series with these kind of guys in the midfield because at this point we will also be bringing in half-baked wingers from the transfer market. It will be very interesting once we get to do that. Let's take a look at the league because we've had interesting developments as we saw in the last series eight teams now in the series and I think my goal for the coming season will be a third place like last season because competition has really stepped up this season. We start out home against the unknowns in the first round and uh, we'll be looking to get three points to start the season and in the second round we go to AC Trevikeri and if we look at this match we will see that it's a fairly newly started team so hopefully we can get off to a good start and get two victories in the first two rounds. I was looking forward to make uh, this week's youth call but unfortunately I scuffed it up but uh, we didn't find anyone interesting and uh, the youth player we found in the final call was also fired immediately so no worries about missing this week's scouts ball. We did play the first round of the Coppa Titano against the Sen Masters and unfortunately there'll be no cup run this season because the Sen Masters was just too much of a challenge for us. Uh, this central attack and midfield advantage was just too much to handle and we didn't have much chance of scoring especially after the pullback but really we were overmatched in most sectors this match it was never really going to do and we'll just be happy about taking some money and we'll be looking ahead to the Copa Sesta and we'll start out against the FOD in that match so there'll be some possibilities of gaining a little extra money before we move on to the usual friendlies against the team in Denmark Time for a little cameo segment here about Haunens Hilde in the Hattrick International V130. This is the Hattrick Community League and um, eight freshly started teams here. You can tell that two of the teams, my team Haunens Hilde and the High Plains Drifter, actually made it to the second round of the Hattrick International Cup. So uh, we have a little advantage being able to gain team spirit in the next round, potentially by playing played cool. We'll have to see about that. The goal for this season in the Hattrick International V130 is to win. We want to see if we can win the first place in this league. We do have a sister league as well, and that's, let me just pull it up here, Series V109. And if you at some point are interested in joining up and being part of this community, make sure that you keep your eyes on V109 for a preferred series, uh, series swap for next season. 
But as I, let me just say it again, to make sure that everyone hears it, I'm looking to secure the first place in the first season of V130. We start out away against the Hattrick Australia Huskies. That'll be very interesting to see. And the plan is to live stream most of these matches on Saturday on the YouTube channel here. Also. So hopefully I'll see you guys in chat once that starts out. Sunday evening, we did play the first league match of the season against the Unknowns in what I would describe as the main rivalry for the club at, at this point. It didn't go quite as we planned, and you'll probably see why in the highlights here. Sonati intercepts an attack here and is prepared to make an all-important clearance. He tries to dribble Danny O'Dea first, but he steals the ball and scores. Sanati, what are you doing? Are you kidding me? Okay, we are attacking on the left side. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's the equalizer. Jakub Keva. It all ended in a draw. Yeah, not the best start of the season. Sanati actually scoring but an on goal. The league standings leaves us in sixth place. We'll hope to get a victory in the next match against AC Trebikeri. Yeah, hopefully Sanati can redeem himself and score a few goals in, in that match because this was uh, this was below par. So uh, yeah, not the best start of the season. We lost in the Coppa Titano. We lost two points in the first match of the season and against our main rivalry at home even. Mm, this could be a lot better. But um, I still hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe if that's the case. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.